Hi, my name is Sherry Gensel, and I'm a social studies teacher in Pennsylvania. I was a member of the Pennsylvania State Education Association and the National Education Association until 2018. But from the beginning, I really did not want to be a part of the union. And when I took my job as a teacher, it was kind of just felt that you had to be a part of the union. But deep down and on the root level, I did not agree with their political ideology or their philosophical agendas. But at the time, there was no other option. I had to be a part of the union or I could become a non-member but still have to pay my dues, which were roughly around $900 a year. I thought, well, maybe if I'm part of it, I could allow my ideas and my philosophies to be known that I could help change it from the inside. But that really was not going to happen. I felt like I had no voice that there was no way to be able to say, hey, wait a minute, I don't agree with this. And I am not part of the collective ideas that that union represents. It's not that I am against unions. I am against us not being able to have a choice if I want to be part of that union and to go with their agenda that they have. Because my husband has his entire career worked in an industry where there was no union, I have a clear understanding of the differences between working with a union and working without a union. The reason why it is so important to have a right to work state is because of that word choice. You need to be able to have a choice. If you're not in a right to work state, you don't have a choice. You must go with the agenda of the union. Your money must go in the direction of that union. And whether you agree or don't agree with their philosophy, that money will be spent on those ideas. And so if you don't have a choice, you limit yourself and you limit society 